Hello everyone and welcome to another car vlog. So uh, today the topic is going to be diabetes, specifically type 1 diabetes. Um, as I mentioned earlier in my channel, uh, one of my daughters, Rhiannon, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at the age of uh, well, one year old. She was actually 14 months. Um, it was all just very sudden, basically just one day she was very lethargic, she wasn't uh, uh, just being herself and uh, we, took, we took her to the doctor and uh, uh, they said that she looked dehydrated and uh, she had some symptoms that diabetic people have. Uh, we um, uh, checked her blood sugar, it just so happened that we had a blood sugar monitor at home because my mother-in-law has type 2 diabetes, so she has one of those. And uh, yeah, it was uh, her blood sugar was uh, high, off the charts. It was higher than 500, which is very high. Just as a reference, normal uh, normal range is between, uh, I believe, between 80 and 150 or something like that. Um, yeah, hers was higher than 500. We then later discovered that her actual blood sugar was uh, over 600. She, it was about 630, if I remember correctly. Um, so. Um, yeah, it's been an adjustment period. This this all happened in November, and now we are in June. So it's been about seven months now of us uh, living with uh, with this taking care of uh, a child that has this condition. Uh, and um, I wanted to mention one thing uh, specifically: One Drop, the One Drop company and their product and their subscription model. Um, that's been a really good find for us and it's uh, worked pretty well so um, I just wanted to put this review out there maybe if anyone is going through the same thing and doing some research on one drop and uh, would like to uh, just hear from someone who, who's been using it so when um, when Rihanna first got discharged they gave us this uh, prescription for um, these uh, glucose uh, monitors and uh, meters and uh, strips so um, when I went to pick up the prescription I realized that the insurance didn't quite cover them fully and uh, just the strips on their own were about a, do a dollar for each one um, and uh, I mean she needs to use at least eight a day or more that quickly adds up to a whole lot of money and um, uh, and that's assuming that they work like she needs to have a blood sugar tested at least I would say when she was first diagnosed about eight times a day now we check it about maybe like three or four times a day depending sometimes five depending on, uh, on uh, what numbers we have um, but anyway yeah so the strips themselves were so expensive they give us the monitors uh, for free but the cost of the strips is outrageous we, we were paying like we we're looking at about two hundred dollars a month out of pocket just for test strips so um, I figured that you know there has to be something that's a better solution for this. So I looked online and very quickly I found OneDrop. And um, OneDrop has a subscription model where they send you a very nice looking meter, which is has been working really nice, really great for us. Um, and then you pay monthly. Uh, I think they have a tier that's twenty dollars and a tier that's thirty dollars and one that's fifty. I might be wrong about that, by the way. You guys can look it up. I'll post the link down below, as YouTubers would say. Um, but uh, the um, the difference between the tiers is how many strips you get each month. For fifty dollars, you get unlimited strips. So I figured out that you know I don't want to deal with the hassle of worrying about are we gonna run out. What's gonna happen? You know, uh, are we gonna have to go to a pharmacy and get some? So um, I just decided to go for the unlimited one and, and see what happens. And it's been great. It's been a great uh, solution. So first, uh, first thing, yeah, they do send you whenever you need the um, um, shipment of strips. They send them to you right away. Uh, they, I think, the maximum you can order one time are 300, which should be plenty uh, for a month. If you need more, you can always uh, ask them for more. Um, now, the meter itself, as I said, is, is very accurate and it's very good. It has Bluetooth capability. It connects to an app on your phone. And really the important thing here is the app. The app, I think, is really great. So it keeps uh, track of all the meter reading. Uh, also, you can enter things like uh, 
at what time you had food, at what time, how many carbs you had. Uh, you can keep track of physical activities. So it's kind of a way to monitor blood sugar levels and uh, and what affects them. Um, another really cool thing about the app is that uh, it generates a nice little report that you can share with the doctor or just keep it for yourself. Like you can look back in the last three months and see what the averages were. And, um, and you can share that with a doctor and uh, it's a much easier way to get those readings, especially when you need a dose change for the insulin. We've had to call a few times um, to have our dose adjusted because the, the readings were too high. Um, and uh, yeah, just having that option to have a um, report right there in front of us and that we can share by email, uh, that helped a lot. Um, they have a really cool AR mode too. I don't see it much use for it, but uh, but it does look it sure does look pretty cool. Um, also, they have um you have your own personal diabetes counselor lady that uh, uh, you can just ask questions if you have any questions. She was um, super nice at the beginning. I actually did have quite a few questions uh, that I'm sure a lot of people that that have to deal with diabetes have. Um, for example, uh, they told us when we got discharged that for the insulin pen, you have to change the syringe each. Uh, you have to. I'm sorry. You have to change the needle for the pen each time you um, for each injection. And I was thinking, like that seems a little bit excessive. I mean, do we really have to do that? And then I found out that most diabetics don't do that. They they can reuse the pen, the the needle at least a few times. Uh, some change it daily, some change it every few days, you know, it just varies. Um, those are tiny little needles and uh, and uh, they're sterile, so... Um, as long as you maintain them clean and all of that and sterilize everything around them, I think uh, they can be reused every once in a while. Um, also for the, uh, what they call the lancets that they gave you, the needles for the lancets, those can also be reused. Now, some people like to change it each time and that's totally fine. Um, obviously, you wouldn't keep it until, you know, like it's rusty or doesn't work anymore, but uh, uh, but you can definitely use the same needle twice or three times or something like that. It's not, it, it definitely is not a big deal. So yeah, she actually was very helpful with, uh, with, with that aspect of it, giving me some resources where I can just get informed. She didn't tell me one way or the other if, uh, if it's good or bad, but she just gave me resources that I could read um, and I can see what other people in this condition are doing. Uh, so yeah, you get a personal diabetes coach, you get uh, an app that integrates really well with the meter itself, with the Bluetooth meter. Uh, you get unlimited to test trips for 50 bucks, which is not a bad deal at all. Now, to compare it with what's out there, um, the technology used by OneDrop is the same as the CVS brand uh, glucose meter. I forgot what they call it, but anyway, it's a CVS brand. Um, now, the CVS brand meter, it, it's I think it's $20 just for the meter itself. And then um, you pay $12 for 50 strips. So that means that for, let's say, uh, $48, which is 50, 